there, welcome to the video. This is part one of the infant update and growing together live stream. In this video, I am just covering the base game update, which includes the infants. Growing together will be in the next video. This stream went for two and a half hours and I have so very many notes on growing together that it's going to need a second video. But today we have a very exciting base game update coming for free March 14th to everybody and we're going to have a look at that now but first of all our guru hosts for this component are sim guru graham and sim guru morgan so our little adventure today starts at none other than the pancake household there's bob he looks probably the happiest I've ever seen him. And here we have the Pancakes Lounge Room, which is sporting some of the new accessories coming in the base game update. As you can see, there's some little toys on the floor there. And then another structure, which I'll talk about in the not too distant, the Fox Lamp as well. And then upstairs, look at the llama. But here we have something very exciting over here. Da 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 da. Where is my controls? Okay, they laid out a whole bunch of objects and showed off a lot of swatches in this here room. And here we can see we got a lot of those cute little fox lamps over here. We've got a lot of uh, the mats. I like this one here. It's a watermelon. Lots of foxy type of stuff, isn't there? Foxy motifs. And then we've got these little baskets with these cute little things in it here, which we've definitely seen more than one. Now, do do look at what we've got here. Now it is what you're thinking if what you're thinking is what it is. That's a way to say that, but we shall peruse the room as they show us around. I've got some cute little tables there and we've got the llamas. I'm liking those llamas a lot. And yes, bassinets, new baby bassinets or newborn bassinets now, but we'll get to that in a moment. We've got some little, you know, baskety guys on the floor there. We've got some what appears to be towel racks, which we've seen. There is some bookshelves as well, functional bookshelves. I don't know why they wouldn't be. That's a usual feature for The Sims. And then when they showed off a little bit of some swat action going on here for the tables with some little baby creams it seems and then we can have a koala a panda very scary panda actually or an elephant in here ah there we go Here's the koala. Koalified best buddy. Don't be fooled by this cute and cuddly marsupial. Despite sleeping most of the day, this koala has been known to liven up with the crinkliest of crinkles. Crinkles? To keep your tots entertained. A koala tea good time. All right. Yep. It's the koala. <laughs> we also have Kinder Maid, Kinder Rattle, Shake, Rattle and Roll. Whether they're imagining themselves as part of an ensemble or just enjoying the sound, your tots will have a blast shaking this Kinder Maid rattle toy around. That's what it is. It's a rattle toy. That's cute. And then that other thing there, Little Squeak Heart. This squeaky friend will be a great addition to your little one's collection. Prepare your ears. Not a squeaky toy. That's going to get annoying, but great. We want some annoyance, don't we? I am so digging those llamas. I really am. The bassinet's the most exciting thing probably, but those llamas have captured my special attentions. Now here we have something that's a surprise addition, surprise to me anyway. We have ourselves the capacity to make a playpen or the means to make baby proofing or both actually. Now these will be in the fencing section of your build by and they will function as pens and proofing for infants and toddlers and they have a little feature there like the doors do with allow access to and such as we will see now. Lock for specific sims. So it's just like the uh, the doors. And there's extra things there like apply baby proofing as well. And they're yeah, demonstrating that it's just like the doors and the doors can be baby proofed as well. So your little ones can't run outside. Oh, my toddlers always do that. That's actually going to be a good thing for the toddlers. Now, OK, we've got OK, OK, OK. We have a lot of cribs. We've got a lot of crib action going on here. Now, they said a lot of these swatches and designs are designed to complement things we already have in the game. Like these are very familiar, aren't they, for example? And we've got a few different 
styles here too, which this definitely looks like the mega range. I like these sort of ones myself. There also will be the capacity to change certain cribs into a toddler bed and vice versa as well. And that is demonstrated here with upgrade, convert to crib. And I think you can do it the other way around. So the furniture can change with your family. And these things here, which I previously thought were a playpen, are not. They're actually a travel version of a crib that you can put in your inventory and then you can take them obviously with you and then the infant can have a rest wherever you like so long as they fit there. And now we come to something truly unexpected and exciting to me anyway. Yes, we have da, 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 science babies, science babies, science babies. I was very surprised at this in case you can't already tell. So you can press have a science baby with costs you 1,200 simoleons or it says here have a science baby as a single parent. We're going to see what happens because Eliza has decided she is going to have a science baby. She's gotten in her phone here. She's pressing the science baby with option and here are the options. Now you have to have a certain level of friendship with a sim to be able to have a science baby but you don't actually have to have any romance as you'll see here and you'll also see the options seem to be any adult sim so they stated that this of course now means that a number of different storylines will be able to play out in your game including surrogacy and same-sex couples having a baby this way and as we will see Eliza decided to snub old Bob for his DNA and she's gone with Bella Goth and dead. And so Eliza wants to have a baby with Bella. She propositions her. Hey, what are you doing this afternoon? You want to have a baby? And Bella's like, oh, got nothing better to do. Why not? And out Eliza goes, out into the world, off to the clinic, have a science baby with Bella. So it's going to combine their genetic material. And there's the little thing, the little thing, the little circle. Eliza's off giving her contribution. And here comes Bella off to whatever clinic it is so that she too can contribute. And then you just get a baby. You don't even have to wait the three days. Science is quick. And Amelia Pancakes is now born. And you can get twins as well and probably triplets too, obviously. So, you know, you get the same sort of thing where you can get multiple births as well. And now, poo, 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 poo. okay, we've got a bit to get through here, but it's good stuff. So first things first, here is our newborn. So babies will start off as newborns as usual. Then they'll be aged up to infants and then toddlers. But they have given our classic babies, which are now newborns, a bit of an update. And one of those things, obviously, is the bassinet, which I personally think thinks I personally think it looks a lot better as I do. I really do. Now, one of the new and improved features is the fact that they actually have the entire spectrum of colored tones available to other sims now to newborns as well. Apparently before they were working off three different tones. That's what they said, but now they are all available. And in addition to that, the baby will now have specific colored eyes, which is great because they never did before. So they're going to have an eye color already too. Now they also said that they've actually upgraded the way they look a little bit. And as you can see, I don't know about you, but I think this baby actually does look cuter. What do you think? I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is supposed to be now a very new baby that it's just come home from the hospital and they've actually lessened its lifespan because it is now just a fresh little baby that will become an infant, but they have extended the lifespan of the other life stages, they said, to compensate so that Sims can watch their children grow up. So one of the things they've done as well, apart from making it look younger and a bit cuter, I think, is to smooth out the animations. And that includes the way they actually move. It, in it includes now they can go from different interactions. And instead of putting the newborn back into the crib before performing the next one, they can actually go smoothly from one to the other now. The other thing they can now do more smoothly is show off the baby to other sims. And that now also includes toddlers. They also said that the babies will now have a reaction to temperature. Temperature will now affect these newborns. And that will include if you were to put them outside and suddenly a storm happens or something, they would start crying about it. That was the example that they gave. Also, children and toddlers now have extra things they can do with the uh, newborn, such as entertain them is basically the one. And here is Eliza cooing at that newborn. And there's Bella bonding with the family. Well, she's a part of it now. And so here we go. They're going to now age up the newborn to an infant. It's under baby care. 
age up. And you'll notice, of course, that there is going to be a different animation for this as well. And keep an eye on Bella for what she does because this is part of it now too. So time to age up the baby and Bella's taking a photograph just to signify the moment has been acknowledged. And then we get our traits. Okay, we've got six different traits there. Cautious, calm, sensitive, sunny, wiggly and intense. Sunny is an easy infant and intense will be a more difficult one. Today they chose, however, to go with a cautious infant. The Sims appreciate the familiar but are slow to warm up to new experiences, locations and Sims. I like the wiggly worm. Wiggly worm, wiggly worm. Let's all do the... Look, it's on a cloud! It floats down from the bassinet on a cloud for whatever reason. But there we go. There is the infant. That's what happens. That's how it happens. And it's doing some infanty things on that mat. And here it is in Create a Sim. And we've got some, uh, these are the obviously the clothing options that will come with the base game update. Some of them do appear to be the toddler ones resized, but there are plenty that are not as well, such as the adorable bear. It's got ears and some cute little dresses. Look at those. It's really cute. Oh, I like the sunflower look. That's pretty great. Sleepy time. Yeah, I, I find that bear one hard to top, although that rainbow, that's pretty great too. Oh, pink bear. And yes, so infants have weather specific outfits as well. They obviously be affected by cold and heat. And that's a really cute cold costume, cold costume. They have hats as well. There's my bunny ears right there. I like that bumblebee one. That's really adorable. And of course, they've got diapers. They have a whole range of diapers here. So if you just want your baby in a diaper, you can have it. I personally really like the rainbow one myself. And here we go. We've got some some glasses like you see in uh, Growing Together as well. So infants can have sunglasses or regular glasses there, different swatches. And if you are a protective parent or you're just worried about your kid, yeah, there's helmets as well, baby helmets. I like the watermelon one that was there before. Yeah, they get some watermelons on. And we've got the hairdos as well. That's pretty cute. We've got the one that looks toddlerish that made us all think the babies look toddlery. And another toddlery one and some baldness. Oh, come back. But here, here we go. Here's the ones that I like the best down here. The little pigtails, of course, the top knot. And that one is pretty great as well. This one is so cute. And of course, I mean, that's just cute. I mean, yeah, that's hard to top though, isn't it? So now we move on to some teeth. So we've got options for the infants too. They can either have no teeth, they can have some top and bottom or just the bottom. And we have, we have two things here. We have something that's called a stalk bite and some actual birthmarks as well. I've never heard the term stalk bite until today, forgive my ignorance, but these will be like birthmarks that actually fade as they get older, whereas the birthmark birthmarks will stay for their whole lives. So that's really cool, isn't it? And here's some of the body birthmarks as well. There seems to be quite a lot of options in different swatches as well, different colors. So that's pretty great. And here we go, some more skin tail, skin tails, skin details as modeled by Eliza here with the different swatches as well. Got some birthmarks there and more lots for the body. We've also got some stretch marks and some C-section scars are coming in as well. Also, we now have a different piece of customization. Let me just give the old pause a go here. Okay, so an extra feature in the gender panel in Create a Sim will be now, can this sim produce milk? So even more ways to customize there. So there will be a variety of things you can do with your infant and do for your infant, like naps and feeding and playing and stuff. Of course, there is also bathing, which is about to be demonstrated by Eliza and Amelia here. Eliza looks quite happy there. Eliza and Bob both look happy today. What's going on in the pancake household? So here we go. This is actually really cute, the way she wash, 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 bleh, washes the infant. I like this bit where she scoops the water up over her. That's adorable. And look at the look on her face as well. Yeah, I actually really like this. And the rubber ducky makes an appearance as well, which is always a good thing in my opinion. Oh, who else misses Ducksworth of Bathington? So the next part, bear with me while I try to describe what was described. Also, there's the watermelon mat again. I just had to point that out. Okay, so this is what I'm going to tell you, right? Newborns and infants have what is known as a sense of attachment. And this can grow or deteriorate with the carer sims based on whether or not they've been cared for properly. And this leads to feelings of trust or distrust. Now, if a newborn or infant is left crying a lot and no one 
one comes to soothe it or take care of its needs, it's going to learn that it can't trust people. And therefore, when it cries, it will start to feel neglected and will be extra sad. I mean, this is some good detail, but oh, it's so harrowing at the same time. So this just basically manifests in little things like extra crying or a moodlet for infants and stuff like that. What will happen is more long term as well. So if they are cared for well, we'll get to see little moodlets about it as well. And that's how you can sort of keep track of how your infant is going is if they have good moodlets a lot and if you're taking good care of them as well. So yeah, let's have a look at that when it comes up. So yeah, if your infant is well cared for, it will develop a good attachment and that means they will trust the caregivers. So here we go. There it is. Well cared for. These are the sort of moodlets you want if you want to make sure your infant is happy. You don't have to, of course. Most of Amelia's needs are attended to in prompt fashion, so it matters how quickly you attend to them. There's not much more she could ask for. So yeah, so if this keeps up, she's well on the way to getting one of the three reward traits. So depending on how you parent your child, if you can meet their needs and meet them quickly, which will mean that they get good attachment to the caregivers and therefore good trust. So the three reward traits that they get when they age up and will stay with them are happy if they've had a pretty good time of it. Nothing really wrong, but it can be kicked up a notch if they're really well cared for to get a top-notch infant. However, if the caregivers have given them kind of the rough end of the stick and haven't really been there, they will get an unhappy trait and the outcome of that will be that they won't be able to trust other sims, they'll have a harder time through life. And then, of course, the more positive ones will have a far easier time trusting sims. Oh, it's intense, isn't it? But this is this is the sort of stuff we ask for, is it not? So, yeah, that's the sort of thing. So, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how it plays out in our games, of course. But this is just the mechanics of what has been said in here. I think a lot of this will appear kind of subtle to some extent until you get the outcomes. Although you will get those moodlets like this, depending on how you're going. And they will react if they've been well cared for by being more chill if you don't come straight away and being more unhappy if they're used to you not coming. I hope I've even remotely explained that well. I'm sorry if I haven't. That was the most complicated thing. So there's lots of different interactions. Just keep your eye out for all these sorts of things. So, 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 so. There is a big to-do about trying food, but we're going to go off on a tangent first because guess what, people? They have fixed the freaking high chair. Yes, our prayers have been answered. So the high chairs that we currently know will be shared by both infants and toddlers. And they say they've fixed it. No more toddler constantly asking to be picked up. That is apparently gone. And they will just sit there and life will be great. So we're hoping, of course, that works. It worked during the stream. So yeah, I just... I just, I've been looking forward to imparting that. You might have heard it by now already, but I'm sure we're all excited over that one. So help Amelia try first baby food. So it'll actually tell you when they've tried their foods. Trying a food for the first time is a thing. And so we're going to have a look at that now. There's a variety of foods, as you can see. When they actually try a food for the first time, they will react to it and have different thoughts about it. And these thoughts will be... They will either dislike it, they'll be unsure about it, they will like it, or they will love it. And if you have a cautious sim, like our little Amelia here, she will be more likely to be unsure about the food she's fed, as we'll see in a little bit. All the interactions with these toddlers build attachment, by the way, I think. And one such thing is being fed in the high chair because it's actually a lot about the attachment with the the experience with the adult and the experience with trying something in the world for the first time as well. So here we are. Amelia's going to try. What's she going to try? Oh, it's going to be some mashed peas. And here we get to see Eliza's got the little baby food. The aeroplane is a coming in. It's hit the runway and it's landed. And there we go. Hmm, Amelia was unsure about mashed peas. Maybe this food will need to be explored again. Okay. Little Amelia is uncertain. And now she's taking it out on the pie chair. I'm just going to pause it here for a second. The question was raised as to whether the infants are controllable or not. And here we see that we can indeed click on Amelia here. Let's have a little look here. So I've just had to do a little spoiler alert on the growing together component because you can see it better here. But here we go. Here we have an infant under control, does have the plumb bob. There is just the work and the skills blanked out. We have all the other little panels down there available. Okay. 
Pay attention to this little one. Look at toys go night night. There we go. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. <laughs> now we're getting some playtime action and she can play with the toddler blocks, but she also has a bunch of other toys there, which we checked out before in the uh, availability room, I'm going to call it, in the stuff that's coming to base game room, actually. So she's oh, she's showing some affection to that block. Isn't that cute? So there she is having a play times there. And now we're going to see Iggy come in. Oh, it's cry time. And the moods change very quickly. So we're going to see Iggy come in and interact a bit with his little new sister here because there is a lot of interactions with the infants from other age groups. So we can see the options come up here. Watch, entertain, peekaboo. That's a cute one. So he's going to try and do some peekaboo. Look at the look on her face, though. She's not impressed. See, she's got a tired mood look going on there. So she's, she's just about had enough and ready to call it a day and time for a nap. But her brother's going to do some peekaboos anyway, and she's not having a bar of it. She's past it. She's over it. It's time for slumber. Speaking of slumber, infants will now sometimes have, will now, like they ever existed before, <laughs> infants have to be soothed occasionally or sometimes when going to sleep. And if you have a wriggly infant, they are far more likely to need soothing to go to sleep. We've got play lullaby, put to bed. So there are other interactions which we'll see when she clicks on Amelia. But a good one here is that, that mobile here. It looks like we've got a bird version as well. We don't have our space themed one back again, sadly. Badly, but I'm sure that's an option somewhere. And here we go. She's putting the, oh, yes, it's teddy bear time. And see, there's options there. Tell bedtime story was one of them. Soothe to sleep is another. So hush little baby. Oh, you can pick the lullaby. There we go. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sleep, baby, sleep. Rockaby, baby. I can't pronounce this one, forgive me. And Hush Little Baby, so that's what gets selected. Oh, that's pretty cool. Some classics there. Rockabye Baby's actually quite a terrifying one when you actually think about the lyrics. Hush, little infant, sleep for a while. You're going to have a music mobile. It's got some birdies, it plays a tune. Eliza's there and it's way past noon. So now seems like a good time to bring up the cross compatibility. Well, it's not really cross compatibility because this is in a pack. It's an update, but it has compatibility with packs. And as it's been, oh, kiss goodnight. That's cute. As it's been noted before, cats and dogs is one of them where the infants can interact with pets. But they've also given away that parenthood will have some compatibility with your infants. When you get higher parenting skills, there'll be more options to take care of your infants or more ways to take care of them, something like that. They also said, Here's another one. Nifty Knitting is one of the packs that is compatible. But then they also said there's lots to discover. So basically go and have a go of it yourself and see what you can find. So yeah, that's that. So that leaves us at the end of that. Next time I'll be covering the growing together component of this live stream. What do we think about infants? I really can only see the downside at this point being possible glitches, really. You know, there could be unforeseen things and all that. Everything went okay in this live stream, but we haven't seen the full repertoire. So yeah, I'm still pretty excited myself and I look forward to it in game. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day or night and bye for now. Bye.